Well, it is a rude wake up in many neighborhoods this morning. Temperatures are in the single digits and most are below zero. Our overnight unit caught this sign in Castle Shannon showing look negative one. But one local community has some high tech help to keep the roads as clear as possible during these bitter temperatures. And our Chile Casa Adele joins us live in Cranberry Township with a behind the scenes look in Chile. What they have there is pretty incredible. It is neat stuff, Lindsay and David. Good morning to you guys. Listen, I can tell you first the temperature it's so cold outside. Negative 14 is the reading that we're getting in the traffic operations center here in Cranberry Township. But with that, right, with the cold temperatures, the freezing cold temperatures over the course of this week, there is some cool stuff happening here in Cranberry. Let me bring in Kelly Mauer. You are the director of public works for Cranberry Township. Director of public works. And kind of tell us what's in the ground and why is it so special? Right, so normally for our winter maintenance, we do use um, embedded pavement sensors. We piloted them last year, great success. They can tell us normally um, if the air temperature, if it's snowing, but the pavement is, is higher than freezing, we don't have to salt. But on days like this, we're monitoring it for freezing. So um, like you said, the air temperature here in Cranberry, um, I'm reading six, minus six on our pavement sensors, but the um, pavement is zero. So as Lauren mentioned in an earlier um, segment, that anything, any runoff, any water will freeze on impact. So we are watching that. Um, the sensors are also invaluable because they project with a weather forecast 72 hours in advance. So we are thankfully looking at a warm up on Thursday. Um, pavement temperatures with the sun, even though the air might be below freezing, the pavement temperatures are going to soar and we're going to get that melting. But then we have to worry about a refreeze when the sun goes down Thursday night. So we're continuously monitoring. Right, and that's something that's really important, right? Looking at the future weather forecasts. And I know you guys put maybe, what, three of those sensors up last time around last year, but this is something now that you've expanded it. Right, we have seven sensors currently. Um, we found we saved about $200,000 last year not sending our crews out, so we thought it was valuable to put at the municipal parking lot, um, at the entrance to our elementary schools, um, key areas, um, the um, underpass from I-79 to Route 228, critical areas that we monitor daily. And I know you guys, again, we're talking about how you guys expanded. Is, are there more expansions planned as well? I think we're good for now. We really have the, the township covered, the four quadrants, any um, areas that are prone maybe to get some different weather so we can monitor all different locations within our 26 square miles. All right. Kelly, thank you so much. A lot of stuff happening here at the Cranberry Traffic Operations Center. And again, it is kind of cool seeing the ground, right? Or you think it's mundane. You think there's not much happening, but... It kind of shows you how much technology has taken us and, and the fact that we can track these kinds of things now. And again, as Kelly mentioned, it is also helping save taxpayer money as well as we send it back to you guys in the studio. Yeah, the sensors they're talking about, that's yeah. incredible. And just the room you're in with all those cameras, it's like NASA or something there. They really know what they're doing.